Hello everyone and welcome to another Joypad music reaction video with me, Mike, aka Dinosaur, and some others also known as Scooby. This is what these guys might know me as. So I'm doing something local today, which, you know, I should do a lot more, to be honest. Uh, I'm reviewing a song by a band called 20-something called Great White Buffalo. And I've played with these guys before, back when I was in a band. Um, I used to be in a pop-punk band called Crookshanks. We disbanded last year. But, um, you know, I played with these guys, I think, two or three times. They're all super nice. I'm friends with some of them on Facebook. I follow them. And I saw today, um, as of the day I'm recording this, that they released their official music video which actually came out yesterday, again, as of the day of this recording. I'm not quite sure when I'm putting it up. But the thought came to me, why do I not review more local bands? There are a lot of local bands around here, and I think part of it is fear because, you know, I'm just some guy. And if I have criticisms about local bands, these are people I know personally, and I don't want them to take things you know, as any sort of attack, but I put it out there that I wanted to review this because I think it's really good, and I uh, had a lot of things to say about it, so fair warning, I have watched this already, I've listened to it once so far, but once isn't enough, so this is my second listen of this song, Great White Buffalo by 20-something, they're from New York, uh, oh gosh, I'm so sorry guys, I don't remember where from. Here, I'll even look it up right now. I'm going to start the video and I'm going to look up your information. So here we go. This is Great White Buffalo. <laughs> So the first thing I want to say, as car goes by, that you can probably hear, is it's mixed extremely well. My only real criticism is that I think the vocals should be mixed a little higher, and actually, I think a problem with that is that uh, my volume is just not turned up high enough, so I'm actually going to pause and fix that real quick. Okay, so I cranked up the volume. Yeah. Um, so that criticism might even fall by the wayside, but I don't know who the lead singer's voice is. I remember all your names, guys, I promise, but I don't, I know that Ben's the drummer. I don't remember who the bassist, or, sorry, vocalist is. You got a great voice. It really cuts through everything, and something you run into a lot with pop punk is that it, there's a higher pitch of vocals, which is kind of a staple of the genre, but here... You just have this strong, powerful voice that cuts right through everything and is a little bit different, but fits extremely well. And then, of course, the music itself, pretty standard, but it's got a really nice driving rhythm to it. It's got a lot of bounce, so it's all very, everything's coming together extremely well. And again, it's mixed great. And now that I have the volume, at an acceptable level, maybe that gripe about uh, the vocals not being mixed loud enough will go away. Really okay, yeah, that's much better. Ooh. 
So everything's panned. There's two different guitars. There's a three-piece, but there's two different guitar parts going on. In the right ear, there's a really cool riff going, and I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull it back a little bit, but there's a really nice, fast, almost descending riff going on. That's awesome. That's really good. The panning makes everything pop a lot more. That bass is mixed, it's up high in the mix. It's not overpowering, but you can hear it very, very prominent and very well. Having seen them live, this is really fun to experience live. Yeah, the, um, hello kitty. The production choices of having the, the really guitar pan. Oh, there we go. Adam, thank you. Uh, go follow all of these. Hi, buds. Hey, puppies. And honestly, if I could do it all again, I probably wouldn't because life is hard and I want to die. Thank you so much. The only one of these guys I'm personal friends with on Facebook is Ben, but, uh, you know, I'll add all the other guys. So, yeah, um, the bridge, you know, it, it, it pulls in a little bit more of those hardcore elements. Think something like um, a day to remember who have their very, very poppy moments. This is kind of in that same vibe. And, you know, I know the guys are going to watch this video, so I don't know how this comparison will feel to them. But I get a lot of early Fallout Boy vibes from this, but with way more, like, balls, like, way more oomph. It's got that that high-energy feel, but the voice is so much more powerful. And Patrick Stump has a great voice, too, but this is just on a, on a different level. It's very hard to compare the two, but in terms of instrumentation and vibe, I get an early Fallout Boy feeling just with a lot more balls. But yeah, the and the video, like, they're a small local band. They're from New York, upstate New York. Uh, I played with them here in Scranton, Pennsylvania, like, two or three times at the, uh, the now defunct Irish Wolf Pub, RIP Irish Wolf Pub. But, um, the video is, for what it is, like, it's really well produced. I, I saw that uh, there was credits for whoever edited the video. I think it was Glenn something. Let me pull that back. Glenn McAdam. Yeah. It was a great job. The The important thing here is that the band looked, they were having, looked like they were having a good time, but also the people in the video also looked like they were having a good time, and that's what you want. You don't want to feature people who look, there, look like they are bored in your music video because that gives completely wrong image but yeah you know 
the one criticism I had went away once I realized my volume was too low. It's just a really good song, and something that gives you a lot of hope for, like, a local music scene. There are a lot of good local bands around here, and I really should, you know, review more of them. Not like I have a huge audience, but if it gets the word out there, you should definitely, I should definitely do it, so you watching this video should follow these guys, listen to more of their stuff, you know, it's all very good, and I was very pleased with this song, with this music video, so hopefully you like it too. Guys, great job. I know you're going to watch this, and I hope you, you know, don't hate me for some of the things I say. All right, cool. Thank you for watching. Uh, do all the stupid YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. I do music reviews and reactions like several times a week, gaming videos uh, nearly every day. Check out my podcast called The Role Less Taken, where we are an actual play RPG podcast. Playing systems that are not Dungeons & Dragons, currently working our way through an Apocalypse World campaign. Uh, just search for The Role Less Taken wherever you can find podcasts. Role is spelled R-O-L-E, and you will find us. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be smart. Be calm. Be safe. Be kind. Very important with everything that's going on. Be kind and wash your hands. See you in the next video. Bye.